you got to be projecting that positive transmission. Hello trans surfers and the trans surfing curious. I'm Renee Garcia and this is Trans Surfing TV. And this is my video on the transmission. The transmission is a part of the wave of fortune or wave of success chapter in reality trans surfing steps one through five. And it's a pretty big concept because you know, I believe that a lot of us these days are really too, we give our world way too much credit for making up its own mind about how we should be treated or what stuff we should be given. And really all of that stuff starts with us. Your world is simply going to respond to your transmission. So if you are lacking something today, if you are in a place where you feel disappointed or dissatisfied with your life, your relationships, your world, your professional trajectory, um, pretty much everything that makes up your external environment, if you've got any dissatisfaction or discontent with that, uh, I hate to break it to you, <laughs> but from a trans surfing perspective, it all starts with your transmission. So I feel that the reason that Vadim Zeeland puts the transmission in the wave of fortune or the wave of success chapter is because what it is that you are focusing on and what it is that you're tuned into that is affecting your thought quality or your energy is going to ultimately be what makes up the energy that you end up transmitting into your surrounding world. And on top of it, that transmission will connect you with more of the same, okay? So Vadim Zeeland gives the example in the book of acknowledging every small win, right? And that could possibly be the beginning of the wave of fortune or the wave of success. So it's, it goes two ways. You gotta, you gotta be projecting that positive transmission out into your world to have your mirror respond back to you with what it is you intend to have or be or do or whatever it is that you want, okay? But on the other side, that transmission is a product of your thought quality that is going to highlight that sector of reality and continue to highlight that information and material that is on that track in line with your thought quality. So if I decide that my world is an abundant place, right? and all good things are gonna come to me and things are working out beautifully and I'm gonna be given a bunch of gifts by my world this week and I attract wealth, right? This is what I project into my world and people pick up on this and my world picks up on this and my eyes and my ears tune in to evidence to support this theory that I have created for myself and this energy that I am projecting into my outside world. So if I have this idea about myself and about my life, this is my transmission. This is, this is what I'm transmitting to my world. 
I will then go out into my world and be connected with material that is in line with my transmission. That could be finding the coin on the ground or encountering someone for a job or some other sort of opportunity and seeing it like that because your transmission is going to connect you with the same quality of what you are transmitting. So Vadim Zeeland also talks about um, in this chapter of the book, choosing your pendulums wisely, making certain that if you are giving energy to a pendulum, which we all are, there is no escaping that. There is no escaping that. Our whole lives are made of pendulums, right? But choosing pendulums that are going to give you something positive in return so it doesn't start to mess with your transmission, okay? So obviously, the big one here that I can call out as an example, the news. So let's say my scenario of me saying, I'm a winner, I attract abundance, things are coming to me easily, uh, life is good to me, I'm gonna have as much money and stuff and everything that I need. That's my transmission. That's the sector of reality I'm highlighting. That is the life track that I'm on where this, this thought quality, this transmission will connect me with stuff in line with my thinking. Now, the antithesis. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is I turn on the news and I think, oh God, the world's so shitty and what am I going to do for money and man, this really sucks. You know, all my opportunities just went down the toilet and uh, life sucks. And then I go out for that same walk after I just had my little negative interaction with the media monster. Do you think I'm gonna see that coin or that opportunity or that little bit of information that may trigger an idea of a way to make more money or a way to have a better job or a way to network with someone? So it's not going to, right? Because that's not the sector of reality I'm highlighting. That's not the message that I am transmitting to my world. That is absolutely not gonna happen. That's why lots and lots of good stuff doesn't happen for negative thinking people. And that's why lots of negative stuff happens to negative thinking people. And that's why positive people don't encounter a bunch of negative stuff because it all has to do with what it is you are transmitting to the world. It's a lot like the boomerang technique. You know, you throw the boomerang out into the world and it returns back to you. Your thoughts return back to you like a boomerang, right? What you are putting out there will hit that mirror and it will spin back in your direction. And that's why we always get what we choose, right? So I'm not saying choice like, well, I want a million dollars, but why am I sitting here poor? Well, because you're resonating with being poor and that's actually what you're choosing. The wanting a million dollars is just words. You're not actually transmitting to the world that you want or you believe in that version of reality for yourself. You believe in the poor version of yourself and that's why you got that is because that's the message that you're throwing out into the world, not the one of wealth and abundance and prosperity and things are working your way and your world's taking care of you and all that stuff. If you can actively believe those positive things in your heart and soul and feel that stuff and throw that message into the world over and over and over and over and over, your world will bring you back abundance. This is what's happened for me. My world takes care of me. My world brings me everything I need because I am staying tuned in to what I am transmitting 
and if stuff starts to go haywire and not look right and I start to you know feel like I'm struggling a little bit I stop myself and I take a look at what I am transmitting to my world so what are you transmitting today what message are you sending in to your world it's like a game right it's like a game like racquetball or one of those games where you bounce something against a wall and the ball comes back at you that wall is your mirror whatever you throw out it's going to hit that mirror and that mirror is going to reflect right back at you your thoughts your transmission your boomerang so if things aren't working out exactly in your favor today maybe it's time to start asking what you are transmitting to your world so this is the transmission everyone i hope you like it and let me know your thoughts <laughs>